Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. In this episode I'm going to be going through £400 worth of change, £300 worth of £2 coins and £100 worth of 50 pences. This is episode 2 of a 5 episode little mini series where I'll be doing £2,000 altogether and £1,500 of that, £1,500 of that is from a, a cashing from a post office where somebody spent £1,500 worth of £2 coins uh, on their travel money. So I'm hoping that someone's been saving up, put the £2 coins in, doesn't realise they've got some rare and valuable ones. And, uh, and with a bit of luck, then uh, we'll have coins here that are worth more than the £2 that's, uh, that's printed on them. And to make it interesting, I've added £100 each of 50 pences as well. Just to add a little bit of spice, because on the on my solo hunts, they, I seem to have stumbled across a lovely kind of rhythm of doing 50p's and two pounds together. Little shout out to the look of the leprechaun there. Ellie and I recently went to uh, Dublin, went to the National Leprechaun Museum, and he's joining us for this little mini series, two thousand pound mini series, to hopefully bring us some luck. And if you have not seen the first episode, do go back and watch it because he brought us some luck and he, he did well. He earned his corn that, uh, on that episode and hopefully he'll do the same again. Right, there is the second commemorative of the hunt. Uh, that was uh, both Shakespeare from the Shakespeare set. That is tragedies and that one is for uh, the comedies. And I'm sure we'll get histories to make it a hat trick. Of Shakespeare coins because there is so many of them in circulation at this moment in time. There's a magnanimity coin celebrating 65 years since the E date. Uh, yes, yeah, so there's loads of Shakespeare coins around, and there's loads around these parts of the northeast as well. So I'm sure we'll find the the one with the crown on to make it a hat trick. Other than that though, it's a slow start. But no matter, the power of the leprechaun will uh, will power through. To be fair, in the first episode, <coughs> excuse me, the, the in the first episode it was all uh, the luck was all in the fifty pences rather than the two pounds. So but anyway, anyway, we've got a nice commemorative coin up here. There is a Marconi. There is the. The hat trick of Shakespeare coins. I'll move that here, I think. So that's all, all three. And we've also got a Robert Burns in there as well. So that is the, the plum of the hunt so far. Probably worth three pounds. So a pound more than its face value. Not in a great condition. Though they have been around a little while, these uh, these now. 2009. So, yeah. 13 years. It's not in bad condition. I'm going to put it there on, over the B. Oh, you can't see it. Anyway, I know it's over the B as the uh, as the plum of the hunt so far, but hopefully it will not be the best coin. There'll be more still to come. There's another St. Paul's, so that will only ever be worth two pound. I have no doubt, along with this one, which is Charles Dickens, and that's because they're they're not scarce and the mintage is so high. So that Charles Dickens, one with Charles Dickens face on. That's uh, it's about eight million of them were minted. Oh, that looks uh, that looks uh, unusual. Um, it's not unusual. It's a commemorative, but it's a beauty. So we have a keeper. We have a coin worth more than two pound. Again, not in great nick, but still gotta be worth. Still gotta be worth four pound if you ask me. There's a little bit of extra. There's a little bit of extra metal there near that scroll. Or is it just muck? I think it might just be muck actually. Yeah, there's no extra metal on there. But anyway, the Magna Carta. About a million and a half of them minted. So that is it. That is a keeper. Who's going to zoom out there? Don't need to. And it's certainly the plum of the hunt so far. So we'll put that next to the Robert Burns. So as I was saying, the Charles Dickens, about eight million of them minted. So plenty in circulation. The St. Paul's there, uh, the one with the St. Paul's Cathedral on. 
they were, whoops, how many was there? Eight, nine, ten and a half, ten and a half million, something like that. So yeah, not scarce, not rare, not sought after, and uh, two pounds worth. Oh, there's a 1997. Only uh, you'll see that portrait of the Queen on it, where she's wearing a necklace there. Because it changed a year after in 1998. Right, here's a nice coin. 2012. Two pounds written on it. So this is probably a Charles Dickens. Could be a Rio. No, it's a Charles Dickens. I can't remember exactly what a Rio looks like. But the Rio handover was a 2012 coin. So anyway, that would have been a that would have been nice. There is another St. Paul's. Oops, wrong pile. Three St. Paul's, three of the Charles Dickens. Oh, look at that. Two of the same bag. Both from the 1999 Rugby World Cup. The first commemorative £2 coin of the bimetallic era. So the two pounds, these two pounds made out of two metals. And that was the first time. Oh, there's another one first time that anything was commemorated on them two years after the change in 1997 there is the Brunel arches so many irons in the fire around the outer around the outside of that coin and that is a dirty fake dirty dirty fake 2011 so the hologram doesn't do any hologramming the Queen's portrait is offset and it looks like it's early learning centre money. Can't read the edge inscription very well. Yep, it's a fake. It's nasty. So book wise, I'm trying to fill the book if you don't already know. So I have a book which will hopefully when full will have every commemorative coin from the two pounds and 50 pence series. And I only need Commonwealth Games Wales to complete the two pound section. So I'm hoping to find one of them. It's a big ask, we've only, ooh, ooh, that's a lovely, lovely coin coming up here. See, it's a big ask, asking for the uh, Commonwealth, because they are super scarce. And we've only ever found one Wales in all the years we've been looking for coins. So that is nice. That is the Jersey Parishes. Got the 12, is it 12 Parishes of the Jersey on there? Look at that. That is a stonker. Definitely worth more than £2. Not sure of the exact value. I do have a couple of these. Not sure what year I've got. But I know the years I have got the aren't particularly valuable. But who knows, 2006? Might be a valuable one. Let me know in the comments if you know how much that is. Uh, that's worth. But that will be getting snaffled away into the collection. That's for sure. And we are doing. We are doing well. Two bags left to go. So if you were thinking about putting a like on the video, it is worth putting a like on the video just for that coin alone. There is another Saint Paul's. Four of them. And like I say, it's because it's such highly minted. Right, last bag of the two pounds and then we will speed straight on to the 50 pences and we'll do 10 bags of them to see whether we can find what we need for the book. And I need Q Gardens and I need 12 Olympic coins. So hopefully we'll get, uh, get some Olympics. Right, that's the two pounds done with another, another Charlie boy, Charles Dickens. Right, crack on. Let's give the leprechaun, leprechaun a little bit of rub, it, a little bit of a look there, bit of a rub for luck. But it's already done as proud with that jersey parishes. That's for sure. If we don't find anything else, then I'm not going to complain. I'm going to say fair dues, leprechaun. You've done the biz. And I suppose I don't want to wear him out too much, do I? Still got three more episodes in this little mini series to go.
Brexit. Ooh, two Brexits together. versions of the shield there's Christopher Ironside high minted 7 million only worth 50p and only really interesting if you haven't got one that you need for your date run or if your name is Christopher do make sure you do check these shields but if you do get a year that was a wasn't minted for circulation it does happen got at least a £30 coin on your hand. There is Squirrel Nutkin. And it looks as though he's been digging in the, uh, foraging in the forest. Because he's a little bit dirty. And he would be a plum find in the 50p <coughs> world. Five million minted. Relatively high, but I find it quite a scarce coin really. Don't find Squirrel Nutkin very often because I think a lot of people took him out of circulation in 2016 when they started collecting the Beatrix Potter set. That was another Brexit. Well, there's a coin that will not go through the coin machine. How, does it, how on earth has that got through any kind of automated system? It looks, it looks domed. Look at the state of that. That is absolutely wrecked. And the only way you'd want that is if you were collecting a set of coins that were deliberately not in good condition. So you were trying to find a date run of coins that are in the opposite to what you would normally want. You normally want the best possible condition. There's another Brexit. But if you were someone out there who's collecting a date run of coins that aren't in good condition, then that would be a good one for you. There's dictionaries. Super common, that one. First time we found it, though. There's a Peter Rabbit. I mentioned him earlier. I think it kicked a lot of people off collecting in 2016. That series of coins. So not tremendous luck so far, but not bad. But of course, only 10 bags, just a hundred pounds worth of 50p to go through. So a lot less than our normal 250 pounds that Lady M and I would be going through together. So I'm not gonna complain at that squirrel looking. But is there something else to be had? Anything else in 2019 she is. Let's find out. There's a, there's a 2011. I think what I'll do, I think I'm going to put him there. I'm going to, I'm going to save. I'm going to save him for last. So there's 12, 12 that I need. There's Paddington at the Palace. We haven't had him today. So yeah, there's 12 Olympics that I need. So hopefully it'll be one of them. Maybe the football. I have never found a football lady M as, but I have not. I'm going to save that last. And even if it's not one I need for my book, I will be keeping it regardless because I love the Olympic series. I love all of them. There's not a bad one amongst them. And I'm sure that at some point they will really rock it in value. Right there is a Benjamin Bunny. He does not rock it in value. 25 million of him. And I think, I think I'm gonna find just that one. I don't think I'm gonna find another one. Paddington at the 
uh, Cathedral. In fact, I can put him in Paddington Corner. You can't see him because I'm zoomed in. But I do have a Paddington Corner slot available. Two bags left to go. And stay tuned for that Olympic. It'll be a 2011 shield. There's another dictionary for the commemoratives have a pointy top when you put the, the Queen's neck at the bottom and the top's pointy it means it's commemorative. It's got a picture on the other side. And I cannot wait to flip it over. One bag to go. done us proud already never mind with an Olympic to come are we naming the leprechaun question. right let's have a little look see let's have a little feel I don't think it's football because it seems to be a bit of a quite a big pattern in the middle. So I don't know what it is. Oh, it's Taekwondo. Shout out to the master Dan Temple himself, the Master Temple's treasures and pa painting with the master. Do I need Taekwondo for the book? Let me just have a little quick flick through, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Oh no, it is a duplicate. I already have Taekwondo. But never mind, it will get snaffled away into the collection. So let me just zoom out a little bit. See it's a bit it's a bit funny. I don't I don't like I like to have this in a particular order, but unfortunately I can't because I like to I'm, I want to zoom in more than I want everything to be in a nice order. But anyhow. So two pound wise, we're going to give a shout out to the Robert Burns and the Magna Carta, but this is absolutely, definitely 100%. He wants to focus. Do you want to focus? End up playing ball? The one? Mm, okay. So we're focusing down there, so I'll do that. Absolutely the plum of the two pounds. And I'm going to say the plum of the two pound hunts. Of the, of the entire hunt, I should say. Can you see the two? There is a two right in the middle there. I think a hologram. Can you see it? Pound and a two. Pound sign. I think it is. Anyway, I can't see it. And uh, that is the plum of the 50p's. In lovely condition. The Taekwondo, well, on the obverse anyway. Sorry, on the reverse anyway. The obverse is a little bit. That side's a little bit grubby. It's a little bit grubby. Right, and we're all done. So that was episode two. Do stay tuned for episode three. I'm uploading all five episodes, one after the other, back to back. And if you're watching this from the future, hello. And uh, do go back and watch the first one. It was worth it. And, and obviously watch the next one as well. Right, okay. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.